Happy New Year guys and welcome back to Crumbs and Corkscrews. I'm Lou and this time I'm going to be going sugar free. So newsflash, I got a new tripod for Christmas and it's amazing, it doesn't fall over, it doesn't need weighting, it does what I need it to, it's nice and sturdy so hopefully, fingers crossed, that that's the end of the wobbly videos and me having um, a meltdown over a gorilla pod. <laughs> so I'm really excited uh, to be able to film a, a video that doesn't require me stacking a camera on several boxes or getting it angled correctly or literally having a meltdown with a gorilla pod. I absolutely hate them things. Can't never get the legs back straight. But this one is so cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> So we're back in the kitchen and avocado brownies. This, as any brownie, is probably one of the simplest and quickest uh, batters to make. This all depends on how well I get on with the avocado. Uh, what I'm going to do is cut all the way around and twist it and then de-stone it with um, my large knife without taking my fingers off. So uh, that wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be, but I'm going to stop this now to take the uh, uh, seed off the knife because otherwise I'm just going to take my fingers off because it's quite slippy. Uh, my avocado is half and actually I have all my fingers and thumbs in intact and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like Everybody seems to make out it's really difficult. Can I do this with a fork and mash it or a hand uh, mixer? or a blender, stick blender, merger blender. I've got a, um, this is a Froofy, which is the optimum one. I want to um, scoop out my avocado. It's really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I haven't had to handle it yet, and it's, it's that slimy handling of the fleshy bit that I don't really like. I need uh, two eggs. I'm just gonna crack them straight in there, like that. Next up is our sugar, our sweetener alternative. Now we're not using granulated or refined sugar or any artificial sweeteners here. I've got honey. I've got 150 grams of honey here, runny honey. I use it as a sweetener in my homemade granola. And lastly, I'm just gonna put a uh, drop of my vanilla bean paste that I use. I'll start by pulsing it and then we will take it right up until it's nice and smooth. So it all blended up, I will admit it doesn't smell to me the greatest, but then I don't like avocado. So the next thing we want to do is our dry ingredients, and for that I have, and will need, a spatula. So first up in here I have 75 grams of self-raising flour. Then I have 30 grams of cocoa powder. Now this is unsweetened cocoa powder, so there's no additional sugar. One teaspoon of baking powder, which I have here. Give this all a mix together. Then we're gonna add our green smoothie slush. This makes it sound like I don't like anything green, which is wrong, because I do eat a lot of green food and I do like it. I just don't like cucumbers, celery, or avocado and then mix it together. It is quite quick, really. So I've been trying to use agave nectar, which you will see in the video blog on uh, Wednesday, and actually I used that uh, as a substitute in my bran loaf recipe, which is on the blog, I'll pop a link below, and it worked really well. In fact, there's none left. So <laughs> it's looking quite like a brownie mixture should do. Whilst I was out this afternoon, popped out with my friend Londa for coffee and we popped in to uh, Holland and Barrow and I found these. The no added sugar chalky buttons and I thought, you know, that they're going to be perfect in here. They don't taste too bad, they're not chocolate buttons, they're chocolate with sweetener in. But I'll do for this. Stir those through and we're ready to put these into our tin and get them in the oven. Now you could do this in a, a standard brownie tin. Make sure you line it and then pop it in the oven. You're about 30 to 40 minutes on that one. Because I'm really unsure about using the avocado in this and whether I'm going to like it, I've decided to make them in my old 
mini muffin tins and make them as a brownie bite. So um, I don't know how many this is going to make, so we're going to find out now. And with a couple of teaspoons, I'm going to fill each one of these. I've managed to get, so these trays hold 12, 22 and a half. There's a couple in here that look a little bit on the large side, so I'd probably say you'd get about 24 brownie bites out of that recipe. So we're going to go into our preheated oven about 180 for 20 to 30 minutes. I am going to keep an eye on these because they are brownie bites, they might cook quicker than that. I can still smell the avocado, I'm not convinced that these are going to be not yet. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. They're going in now. See you in a bit. So they've, uh, they're, they're around the oven and they don't um, smell too bad. I mean, they they look like little, little dough ball -y type things. They probably aren't the prettiest of things going out there, but I did just dollop the uh, mixture into the cake tins. This is the one that was like half of one. Um, so it's, it's, it's not sort of necessarily, it's never exploded, which I think is probably the baking powder in it. And they don't smell of avocado now, which is um, a, a positive in my book. Um, the, the test is, is is what it tastes like, and this is the um, the half one that I did, um, and I'm, I'm going to try it. Mm. It doesn't taste bad at all, actually. I can't taste the avocado in it. I get the chocolate uh, from the cocoa powder and probably the. Um, the uh, sugar-free uh, chocolate drops that I put in. Um, I might have overbaked them slightly. Uh, and we'll give them another go. Um, and then uh, I'll put the recipe on the blog. That was quite nice, gee, they don't taste like a brownie. I'd say they're probably, they're probably a winner, actually. They um, take off the chocolate here quite well. Yeah, probably. Mr. Avocado, a resounding yes from me. So then, if you've uh, if you've been tempted to give uh, avocado brownies a go, uh, as strange as they may seem, um, drop me a comment below. I'm going to post the full recipe in the description box below. Yeah, uh, I'm actually really quite surprised. Um, I didn't think this could turn into something actually quite so uh, chocolatey and um, nice. And they're really, really quick to make. So if you have any suggestions or any ideas or anything that you reckon I could do, um, try for sugar free January recipes, then please let me know. Please be reassured that this does not mean I'm going to stop with all the sweet bakes and everything. There is still one person in this house that very much does enjoy a full fat, full sugar baked product, and that's my husband. So then, if you have enjoyed that and you are tempted to give avocado brownies a go, then hit me down below in the comments box. Let me know what you think. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to like it with a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and definitely subscribe to the channel for more videos and to um, see how I get on with this sugar-free vlog in the future. And um, don't forget, if you smell, you make the world a sweet place. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. You've still not convinced me to eat this in this state though. Not yet anyway.